Pro Mist Filter, Black Mist Filter, Cinebloom Filter, Diffusion Filter. There's so many different names and they're all the same thing. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna call it a Black Mist Filter because that's pretty universal and people typically know what that is. Now disclaimer, this is actually not a Black Mist Filter. KNF Concepts sent me a Black Mist Filter like two months ago. And I love the thing. I use it all the time. As a matter of fact, it's on my camera right now. When I make my videos uh, for photo shoots, I use it all the time. I just love the effect of it. And a part of me feels a little icky because I feel like these filters are a bit cliche these days, but I like it. I don't care. But I felt like I needed to have a filter in my hand. So I've got a random Firecrest filter. So I'm going to insert some B-roll so that way you can see the actual black mist filter. But in this video, I want to talk about exactly what a black mist filter is and what it does and why you may want to use one. Now, as I mentioned, it is kind of a very popular thing right now. So if you're not really into doing trendy stuff, then a black mist filter may not be for you. But first, let's talk about exactly what a black mist filter is. It actually is really simple. And the name black mist is actually a practical name. So basically, it is just a clear filter that they spray black particles, black mist, onto the filter during the process of manufacturing the filter. And what those little specks of black mist do is they diffuse the light. So as the light hits them, it's diffusing it and it's bouncing the light in a bunch of different directions and it makes your light softer. Now, I think people tend to think that this type of filter only has an effect on like a very prominent light source, which you definitely can see the effect very well on prominent light sources, but it actually diffuses really any light that's hitting your subject or hitting something. And that's the reason why I use it when I make these videos. I have a light source right here, so I have light coming in here and it really just softens the highlight so it doesn't have that digital edge. So a lot of people that use these type of filters, they really want to soften everything so that it doesn't feel so clinical, so digital. So it really is um, a look right now. Now, when it comes to black mist filters, the best way to really understand the impact that it has, maybe not the best way, but a, a way to think about what it's doing. Think about lens flare, right? Because the characteristics of what happens when you have lens flare really applies to these black mist filter, okay? So when you have lens flare, um, it essentially softens everything. It reduces the contrast. It kind of mutes the color a little bit. The same thing really happens with these diffusion filters. Now, not necessarily to the same degree, definitely not to the same degree, depending upon the light that you have in your scene. So not to the same degree, but it really does do the same thing. It is um, softening the light, softening the highlights. It's definitely reducing the contrast. It is going to mute the color a little bit, depending upon how much light you have coming into your camera and um, What was I going to say? Coming into your camera and how strong the light source is. My goodness. Um, so depending upon those two things, it really can wash out your image. And that may be a look that you like. Maybe it's not. Of course, you can bring that contrast back in in post. If you want there to be more contrast, you certainly can reduce your black levels to achieve the same thing. Um, so essentially a black mist filter or a diffusion filter all it really is doing is softening your highlights and it's blooming your prominent light sources so if you have um i wouldn't necessarily say the sun because you i guess you could have the sun in your source but think like if you had like street lights um, if you had christmas lights you should be seeing some b-roll of some christmas lights so you can see Think of like, you know, a, a light, a practical light in your house or in your studio, all of those prominent light sources, a black mist filter is going to essentially bloom that. So you're going to kind of see like this uh, halo isn't the right word, but you're going to see 
uh, you can see <laughs> there's, there's, there's something on the screen right now. You can see what I'm talking about. Um, so it's going to do that. Now, when it comes to these black mist filters, they do come in different strengths. So you often hear quarter black mist, one eighth black mist, half black mist, full black mist. Now, the problem, the problem with these strengths is that they're not universal. <laughs> the label is universal. But the actual strength of the filter is not universal. Every brand kind of determines their strength however they determine it. So if you have a quarter from one company and a quarter from another company, uh, the strengths are not necessarily going to be exactly the same. So unfortunately, you really have to just try out the brand that you want to go with, the company that you want to go with, you really would just have to try out their specific one. Now, um, I only have this KNF concept one, so I don't have any to compare it to. I would imagine that it's probably not necessarily going to be like a wide difference, but I can't say that. Don't hold me to it. So typically you want to be at either like one eighth or one quarter. Regardless of brand, once you get into half and definitely full, it gets so, it, it's way too strong usually. It's gonna be a very specific look and it's not realistically gonna be something that you will be able to use all the time. So if you don't have one of these and you're looking to get one, um, I have a quarter which I love. It's perfect for what I need. I have not experienced it being too strong at all, but if you're just getting into it, you may want to start with a one eighth and then maybe work your way up. Or you know what? If you want to live crazy, because you know, YOLO, get a quarter, call it a day. it will be good to go. Now, as I mentioned, I love this black mist filter. I use it all the time, but <laughs> it is not perfect. And this actually isn't necessarily a negative with this specific filter, the KNF Concepts filter. Um, I, I think this filter is great. It's built well. I've not had any issues with it at all. But what I have noticed, and I think I would experience this with any other brand, but what I have noticed is that sometimes depending upon the light that's in the scene, the light that's you know going through the lens, hitting the sensor, my focus is not as strong. My autofocus is not as strong. Now, it's not as bad as, you know, when you put like a six stop ND filter on and you're trying to focus through like a six stop. This is like pre uh, mirrorless days. DSLR is like when you put that six stop on there and you try to focus, good luck. A um, little different with mirrorless, but even still, it's not that bad. But I definitely noticed if there was a lot of light that was coming in through the lens, sometimes my focus would hunt a little bit. Now, <laughs> in the defense, I've actually not used this filter on my R5. So my R5 autofocus is rock solid. I typically use it on this 5D4 or my EOS R. Um, so maybe on the R5 may not be a problem. I don't really know, but I definitely want to call attention to that because I do think this would be a side effect of you essentially having a filter that's kind of bouncing the light in a bunch of different areas. Um, you could have some focus issues. Again, nothing to the point where it's unusable, but enough to where it's noticeable. So outside of that, I really don't have any negatives with this filter it is a specific look so like i said if it's not your thing if you don't like trendy stuff or you know if you really like punchy high contrast images and video this is not going to be the filter for you this is going to do the complete opposite so don't get it um, but if you do like that kind of look or if you really want to just soften your highlights a little bit it really is a great filter now i have a 77 millimeter and then i just have step down rings so i can apply it to all of my filters um, so yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video just to talk about these filters, just to kind of let you know what it is and how they work and what they do. So if you are interested in picking up a filter, 
I would highly recommend the KNF Concept Filter because I've been using it nonstop for two months. So I know that it's rock solid. I can stand behind it. Um, and they'll probably be happy that I'm finally putting this video out. It took me a while, but it's here. Okay, I had to use it and make sure that it's good before I tell y'all like go pick one up. Gotta make sure it's solid, right? So the KNF Concept one is definitely rock solid. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna pick one up. And that's all there is to it.